But I guess we'll see. We're more afraid he's lucky back if anything, I think. Although I also have a bunch of Alana synergy. Fourth Oracle plus Marin or second Masamune encounter. Uh I like fourth Oracle. I don't know why Bombard is not a dragon only card because it's a neutral. How long will I stream today? Uh maybe like another two hours probably. Since we're gonna do this run and then I wanna play Slay Spire, so probably at least another two hours realistically. Very cute popo in the chat, how's it going man? Let's try this. Justine. I shelled out 30% of my panda box on yes. Okay, well, if you believe in Roller Eagle, then that's not a bad strategy. Deck is nuts with all the storm. You mean your deck or my deck? <laughs> Maybe I just smork everybody down. Okay, Beast Galarian on two, Eagle on three, Seraph to copy one of these. Seems okay. Seems not that bad. We do have some Amulet Synergy. Our deck? <laughs> do not seek what is not there. Ramiel, eh? Okay, Eagle in attack mode. Or, I guess... What do you call this? That's a face down trap. I set... My Revolver Eagle. <laughs> Bet for no because the other options were kinda ass this time. Yeah, I feel like we can get there could be better Haven decks than this for sure. Could have just gone all in. That's risky, man. Okay, so I think I copy the Beast Galeria, because I could just play it again this turn, right here, right now. And that's just good tempo, right? Now a fitting end. Next turn I could do Seraph, get a Nor Beast Galeria, and then discount it. I did not get raw or scolfing, yeah. Face down, yeah. <laughs> the gambler in me says so. I mean, gambling can be fun as long as it's nothing serious on the line, right? That's why the channel points are good because it's they're just channel points, right? Gambling with real life money, I don't really uh, support that, I guess. Okay, this should be a good turn for us, though. I guess I need board space. I do need board space. Mayor Prayers could be good as well. But I guess I should hold it then, right? So, okay, this is always happening no matter what. Unless I just Mayor Prayers right now for card draw. But no, if I play it next turn, it's just so much better, right? That means I could Evo this instead. I'll just trade off the 2-1 to answer his 2-1. This doesn't die to the 1-2. The and then next turn we can go Mayor Prayers. I have Juice Team for more Storm as well. Seems okay. Worst case I can just save up Panda Box for 3 months. That's true. I don't think it takes 3 months to get 20,000. I don't think so. I mean it depends on how much you watch the stream. But if you were to watch the stream every day that it was on. It wouldn't take you that long, I don't think. I think you can get like 3,000 in a day, probably. As long as you always click the button. This is a Beast Call Area Turbo build, is what it is. And we're gonna see how far we can take it. Oh, uh, is he gonna evil that? That's good for us. I think that makes it so much easier for me to kill him. I actually think that really helps me. Because we have Meowskers and like little storm damage. That might have been a huge mistake on his part. Oh, not the enchanting glow. Do I just ignore these? I guess let's see what I draw. I'm not playing Shiva. No white. I mean, I could just Evo Snow White to trade. And then we get Bird, Justine Bird for lethal. That seems good to me. Let's do that. So this clears, then it respawns, and it clears the singer. So we get two bodies, two more bodies next turn. Miyasuke does good damage, and I have nothing but Storm. 
I can also go Storm on 7 and then play Shiva on 8 for even more face damage. My vacation I can watch every day. <laughs> Drafted deck with 3 roaches and area. Man, if you draft like an old school roach deck, isn't that fun though? I feel like that'd be such a fun thing to do. I only drafted one roach last time and we still got some decent value out of it. I really like my chances right now. I mean, he has vengeance, but like... When has vengeance ever scared anybody, chat? Have you ever... And I mean, ever been scared of vengeance? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm still not scared. Maybe a little bit. I mean, I could die to like some stuff. But pretty sure we're just going face. <laughs> pretty sure we're just going face. Unless I'm gonna play Shiva now. That way I get a ward. And then we just just the next turn. I guess that's a safer play. I guess that is technically way safer. Just so I don't die to like some random shit, right? Because <laughs> this is 7 face damage. Okay. Like, I don't die to like Gravy, for example, right? He does have an evil, and vengeance, and astral effect. But next round I get Shiva damage, bird damage, Justine damage. Right? There's no way that's not enough. Because my board isn't even bad. These guys are like reasonably thick. He did have a gravy, I knew it. See, so if I didn't get a ward, he'd go face, gravy, evil, and I would have died. So, I'm glad that we, uh. I'm glad that we played Shiva. This guy played Ektar that didn't activate. <laughs> yeah, the Haven Ektar needs you to have shadows. He doesn't spend the shadows. But you need to have the shadows to have the extra effect go off. I like the Haven Ektar quite a bit. I played him in like all sorts of fun decks. Okay, so we go... Face... Face... And let the, uh, let the Shiva finish it off. GG. So far, so good. Gary Bendens? Only a little spooky. We just outplayed him at the end of the day. <laughs> that was kitten's that was play. Kitten's play. <laughs> GG. Gotta make sure we have some YouTube content lined up. So far, so good chat. Alright, we just need three more wins for the Believers. Just three more. Basically, my deck is Revolver Eagle dot deck. We have four of those, and it's a good Shadowverse card. I like that card so much. I said that it, it actually might be my favorite card of the the last expansion. I wish we had raw. It would be so nice if we had a raw. Winning games without the raw, yeah, I know. But I wish I had one. Like, it's just so free, right? You play it, and that's it. You just get <laughs> so much damage for no reason. Handbook's looking good. A portal craft. Not on my watch. I never remember the name of that girl. Every time I want to tell people that Shadowverse has, like, wacky collapse, I always want to bring this girl up. But I cannot for the life of me remember her name. What is her name? Harui? Is it Haruhi? No, Harui, right? Probably. Okay, we have amulets on curve. No complaints. I did not watch that anime, no. But obviously she's popular enough that I know about her. But no, I, I never remember her name. What would have been nice last turn? We're just gonna curve out the amulet to the amulet. Haruhi? <laughs> Harui? <laughs> the anime is wacky, in a good way or in a bad way. I mean, it's one of those like classics, right? Supposedly. Not that I would know. Alright, we're just playing amulets, chat. I'm out here playing amulets. 
We got that sweet Lena. Like, Lena has some good potential. It's about the occult. I thought it was about she being like God or some shit. But it's like a high school anime or something, right? I don't know, man. L? Okay, let's do Priestess on a bike. Let me show you something. And then I guess Glove. So many amulets, so little time. I have so many amulets. Doesn't really matter which one I clear, does it? Did you like it? Paranormal stuff? Well, the Japanese names can be hard. I'm not Japanese. Hmm. Hmm. Rules around her being a god, but she doesn't know it, I see. So her daydreams come true? Hmm. Did you guys see there's a Yu Yu Hakusho live action series being made by Netflix or Crunchyroll? Maybe? I don't know. But it, it's happening. Did you guys see that? I posted it on Discord yesterday. I was gonna say, would he not even that? I kind of want to get the White Fang Temple online before I'm gonna play the Kel. That way I get 4 damage out of it instead. I don't really like live action shows like that. But I love, and I mean I love Yu Hakusho. I feel like most of the time it doesn't work. Most of the time. Okay, this might be a bit weird, but I'm just gonna do... White Fang Temple. Gasty Wings. And then next time we're gonna just play Kel. Kel's going to stabilize and then win the game. That's my strategy. DBC was ass. Well, all DBC's ass, sir. <laughs> the live action avatar was good. I uh, wouldn't know. I'm sure there's been some good live actions. But I feel like it's more more likely that they're bad than they're good. But I, I might watch it. I like Yuhak Show. Like I, I like it enough that I might give it a We'll give it a shot. Shots fired. <laughs> Why do they all have modesty chat? Why do all these guys just magically have the modesty? Like I said though, the Kel would be nasty. We can protect the Kel with a ward too, in case he might live. And that could just be game winning, since I have another heal as well. Play modesty before she gets banned. <laughs> another eagle. Okay, so we go Kel. Don't you guys miss Kel? <laughs> Don't you guys miss this guy? Don't you lay awake at night and wonder where he went? Okay, best case scenario, he can't answer the Kel. Best case scenario. You miss Kel, bring him back. See, that's what I'm saying. I was got bodied by Portal in All-Stars. Yeah, Portal's pretty good. I think they're one of the better classes. Like, everything they have just seems good. Pretty much no matter what. Who is Kel? You have Ambel. Is he in Resonance? Oh shit, he is in Resonance. How could I ever stop him now? Dimension cut? Wait, why did that do 5 damage? This guy's hacking. <laughs> Dragging out a lot of storm is so good. Take 2 to the face. Dude, all these eagles. Would it be wrong to just play a bunch of eagles? <laughs> it's kind of a funny hand. You can use the bike to trade. Not the worst. Which hands are the praying hands? And we're just setting up for a uh, uh um, a better uh, tomorrow, I guess. What is it you desire? So many amulets though. Okay, we got a couple amulets on the board. See, where's my Skullfane? How come I couldn't get Skullfane, chat? Skullfane would have been cool. We might take a little bit of damage here. <laughs> but, um... Maybe a well-placed Lena can answer the board. Blight is better, AoE, if I have to pick one. It's interesting you would say that. I mean, Blight is really good in this format, so people say, right? I also did not get a single one. Hmm. It's her evil portal support. Ah, uh, you joke, but it's not wrong. 
Right? Don't you want to activate your Skybound Arts faster? Right? Don't you chat? <laughs> I really want to see the neutrals for the new expansion. I feel like the neutrals for Storm War Reveal were so good. And they did such a good job. Oh, taking the Bane Boy. Okay, so we get one bird. I mean, Lena just clears that. Just seems good, right? I'll just hold this as a 9 drop at this point. I feel like Lena's good here. Buffs this, clears that, then clears the board. I'd say Lena's not bad. I'll just hold everything else. This is Cycle with Zoe. This is a nice 9 drop. Get another bird next turn. Plus, we get the dragon right now. So, I'd say I'm still in a good spot. I don't hate the position that we're in. I doubt they can stop or top the rebuild neutrals. Yeah, but what I'm getting at is that I think that most people could agree that the rebuild neutrals were like well designed and they really helped push that, you know, game plan. So what I'm wondering is, are the Eternal Awakening neutrals going to do the same job? Or better than class cards in a lot of cases? Yeah. Specifically the vehicles for sure. The wind dog. This guy's just spamming wind dogs. <laughs> How many wind dogs would you draft as a portal player? Hmm. I'm making Ragnar. I guess I'm glad that he used the Ragnar now. Rather than later on. Is he trading and that's it? That's a pretty weak turn. That's a really weak turn. Because now I go Eagle. And we just destroy him. Like the Eagle is so good here. Just to clear and give me another bird to go face with. Plus, if the eagle survives, it summons another bird next turn. See, you guys think that the Rover Eagle is a great 3-drop amulet, and you wouldn't be wrong. It is a fantastic 3-drop amulet. But what if I told you the 9-drop Revolver Eagle is actually not that bad either? Let's go. The vehicle deck was meta? Uh, maybe not. Wow, he did draft another Wind Dog. Holy shit. This guy had triple Wind Dogs. <laughs> I mean, I'd say vehicle decks were playable, plus... Maybe Luxus is not what you would consider a vehicle deck, but Luxus definitely uses the vehicle cards, right? And that's a tier 1 deck. Karula? I mean, Karula is pretty strong, it definitely is. He has to float the play points. Well... I guess he's dead chat. What if I just go face, 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 GG. Alright, we are 2-0 so far. That was kitten's With a play. firm handshake.